Hey everyone, it's your boy MXC1. So as many of you guys probably have heard, MXC have decided to go mobile. So what that means is that we understand that the whole earning profit through crypto is perhaps rather difficult for most people, especially after Bitcoin halving. You know, now even ASIC miners aren't even going to be profitable. But what we have done is we have made a miner and even a mobile app so that you don't need this whole complicated rig and setup and multiple computers to start profiting. You can all do it directly from your phone. So I have made myself a nice cup of tea. I'm going to sit down and I'll show you in this video. Let's get started. Hey everyone, so this is my phone screen. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G. So for you, maybe the phone screen would look different, but don't worry, the app is going to look the same. So first things first, how do you get the MXC Data Dash app? You simply go to our website, mxc.org, go to our Supernode tab, scroll down, and you can get the iOS beta version on test flight, or you can get the Android APK file directly onto your phone. I'm using an Android right now, so I have already downloaded the APK file. Now, once you open the app, this is the first things you see. If you have an account, you can log in. If you do not, click on sign up using your email. So I already have an account. So first things first, I'll need to choose my super node. We have XY Pool, Huawei Tech, MatchX, and Endlink. For this purpose, I'm going to use my own account on XY Pool. So tap on XY Pool. I'm going to write down my email and my password and log in, and I'll see you right after that. This is the first things you see when you log in. Of course, you'll see your own location on the map and then the nearest gateway around you. And you can always zoom out to see how many gateways are around you and so on. This might be different. I'm in Berlin right now, so um, nearby there is one right there. So of course, right now we're going to talk about the three functions. That's the primary purpose of the app, which is deposit, withdraw, and stake. So let's go to deposit. To deposit into your account, you'll simply have to copy this address and then move your MXC tokens into that address. Make sure to only send your MXC tokens because if you send something else, some bad things might happen and we don't want that. So after you have topped up, you'll simply see your current balance increase. So before we go any further, you would need to set up your 2FA settings. That is the best way to make sure that you continue using this app securely and efficiently. So let's go to the top right corner, click on security settings, set to FA, and you'll turn it on. So to set to FA, you can use different applications such as the Google Authenticator, which I personally use, or OneAuth or Authy, it's really up to you. So once you turn on 2FA, you'll be given a new QR code. Scan this QR code, or you can just copy paste the code below on the Authenticator app that you choose. So I'll go ahead and do that and come back. Once you have actually scanned the QR code and click continue, then you're going to see this screen. And then it's going to ask for the Authenticator code. So here, I'm just gonna put in my Authenticator code. But a lot of people actually get confused at this part because every time that you try to reset your 2FA, a new QR code will be given. So, which means you will have to register for a new one-time password token on your Authenticator app. Got that part? Okay. So I'll type in my Authenticator here. You'll click Confirm. And here you will see your passphrases. So you will have to write this down on a piece of paper offline and keep it safe. These are essentially your backup codes. So write it down and keep it in a place where you know where you have put it. So I'm just gonna write this down myself and I'll be right back. Okay, so once you have written it down, you click on I wrote it down and put it in a safe place you click confirm and that's it you have already set your 2FA 
which you can check right here on the thing. After that, you'll want to stake your MXC tokens. So click on stake, put on how much amount of MXC you would like to stake, and then click on confirm stake. That's it for setting stake, it's super simple. Next, you'll want to withdraw eventually from your account to perhaps you know, your exchange account or your separate wallet account. When you click on withdraw here, you'll notice that the current balance is 0.0, .0 MXC and you're wondering what happened. Of course, the reason for this is that all your MXC as well, in this case, all my MXC is staked. So in order to withdraw, you will need to first unstake. How you do that? You click on wallet here at the right bottom corner. You go to staking tab. Click on unstake. Put down how much MX you would like to unstake from your account and click on confirm unstake. That's it. Then you'll see that the staked amount goes into your deposit or your current balance. After that, you can click on withdraw and then you can withdraw to you know, wherever you want it to be really. The current transaction fee is 20.0 MXC. This might change as time goes on and then you click on submit request and then that'll be it. And of course, on your wallet tab, you can see all your transaction history and then you can also see all your staking history. So that's it for now. Of course, in the next videos, we'll talk about setting up your gateways in devices and how to start earning MXE through your gateways or your M2 Pro Miner. So stay tuned for that and thanks for watching.